the thing we are about to do. Can you see okay? I can. Augers nine and one in the last ten games. Was, oh, I see I, complex. I just fell out of Diamond oh, Three go. for like the fourth time. Yes, yes. yes. Don't look. Oh. Don't scroll down. Don't Maka do it. S, Maka S. Uh, <laughs> what's going on, Coach? Don't go down. Oh, this is no. where it begins. Oh no! Looks like a disaster. All right. Um, That's where I right. fell out of Diamond Three for my fourth time. I always just go on one large losing streak. Uh, so tell me what's 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 going on here, OPGG wise, I guess. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, like what do you play? Like give me the give me the rundown, you know. Well, I pretty much main Zaya. I mean, uh, Zaya, Kaisa, Vayne, Sivir. It's probably the breakdown of my champions in that order. Uh, what do you think? What do you think is holding you back? Uh. Personally, I feel like not knowing what to do in the mid game um, when my teammates Classic. fall back or fall back, fall behind. I don't know what to do. Classic. Okay. 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 And I guess um, let's just hop right into it, huh? Awesome. How's laning phase, by the way? Uh, I feel like my laning phase is good in trading sense, but I feel like I'm not the best CSer. So like by not the best CS, or do you mean like you miss waves, or do you miss like random CS? I uh, miss random CS, and I hard recall it really bad times. Things. I feel like <laughs> to suck some hard candy and suck some dicks. Is it like you're missing random CS because you're trying to do something else at the same time, or or what? No, I just straight up miss them. Interesting, interesting. Like cannons, most of the time. I ah, seem to not be able to secure a cannon. Take a look at this. What happened here? Oh, got Lucian. Sure. Oh, we got you with the Presti attack. Yeah. Oh, well, that's just playing against Lucian. So, oh, this is really awkward, isn't it? Uh. Oh, we got his flash. Let's go, baby. Wait, you killed him. Wait, yep. Spike is trolling. He shared his flash. That was really good. This is a really nice flash. Because no matter Bye. what, you have to flash, right? Yeah. And uh, you're going to get his flash maybe. So that's really good. Really good by you guys. Very nice. Very nice turnaround. Um, let me talk about laning stuff, I guess. Like, you know, here, you know, what's the... What do you, what do you think about this section here after we kill this man? Uh, we probably should push it in. The push uh -huh. the wave in. Uh-huh. How come? And uh, get a good reset off, maybe. Okay, okay. Do you have anything to buy? Not really, besides like a long sword. Right, right, right. So okay, reset is, you know, not bad. You know, we, we did we did get an assist, but it's not really not really necessary, I would say, right? Uh yep. is there anything that could go wrong if you guys push? Oh, uh, we could get ganked by the jungler since we don't see him and our yeah. Eve's on the top side. Yeah, and what happens uh, if you get ganked and you guys have no flash and Pike is back? We pretty much die. Or I uh -huh. at least die. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Oh, Hecarim. Oh, shit. It's a Hecarim, right? So, uh, unless you know without a doubt in your mind, this man is not coming by. We have a problem, right? So, yep. um, and what happened to our reset, right? It felt like you couldn't reset. Right, check it out, right? How, I mean, wh wh how come you guys didn't reset? I you did said you not know. I figured, like, I didn't have money for really anything too important, and I was at good HP. I didn't need it All back. Right. Exactly, exactly. So, so I... let's, let's, bring it, let's bring it back. All right, let's bring it back. So, that, so this is a... I think a lot of what Diamond Master players are missing is this idea of what are you trying to do? Like, what do you think you should do in VOD review? And in-game, are you doing that thing? Right. So let's say you're like, oh, I wanted to push because we killed them. We're going to reset, get a good base, and we're going to come back with the item advantage or something. Yep. And then in-game, if you don't do that, then it didn't make sense. Right. The, the, the idea, the theory didn't match the action. Right. So, Correct. Um, so what, what, what other alternatives here, by the way, uh, can you do besides if we think that now we know that resetting doesn't really make sense here because you can't, you can't kill the wave fast enough. Right? Well, they've got a huge wave. We could let him push into me and freeze it by my tower yeah yeah and what happens if you freeze it i can't get ganked and we a set up opportunities to f to get a gank right not only can you not get ganked but uh how can how can this lucian farm without his pike right true yeah so it's like oh you know we we're kind of accomplishing 
And it would make to me it makes more sense because I've tried what you just did, right? I see this wave. We kill their support early on. We try to push it. Nothing happens because you can't push it fast enough. The wave is here and we get ganked and we die because you know flash, right? Yep. So I've seen it a million times. So that's how I know instinctively that oh we don't we don't need to push this. It's just um, does is what you're thinking um, match your actions? Okay. So if you thought that you were gonna base and you didn't base, you want to go back and rewatch to see why couldn't you have based? And now you know that you can't push fast enough. So yep. then you look for alternatives. Then you're like, oh, you need a different reason to push. Like, I want to push and ward so that they can't do an early scuttle or something. I don't know. Um, they can still do scuttle because Eve is topside. But you know what I mean, right? You need to come up yep. with a different reason than push and reset because we push and reset doesn't work. Right? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no. Oh, so this is just a byproduct of us pushing, right? And you're con yeah. based. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no. Okay, let's take a look. What do you think? I once recon based, I probably shouldn't have stepped up again. Why is that? Because it's two versus one and I don't have flash. Yeah, and why why did you step up? Check it out. Why did you step up? Because my W didn't land on the minion I wanted. Uh-huh. And what else? If you walk away here, you're fine, right? Yep. Okay, so why'd you turn around? Maybe to get free poke off on him. Uh-huh. And uh Is this a good idea? Why or why not? Uh not at all, because he has a hook that'll throw me behind him, he'll stunlock me, and Lucian will show up. Right, right, right. And uh, what's our idea here? Like, what are we trying to do? So when, when we talk about, like, our, the our actions must follow our theory, like, what we think we should do. What do you think you should do here in, like, VOD review? Just, like, from this section here. You see this man base? Yep. You look at the map, and we say, what's our, what's our plan? What are we supposed to do? What do you think? Personally, I should back up. Not yeah, you should back up. Not step up towards the wave like I did right here. Right. And uh, would anything in the world possess you to walk up here? No. Yeah, actually nothing, right? Maybe Lucian takes two tower shots. Maybe, maybe I'll get baited into, into fighting, right? But uh, yeah. nothing will possess <laughs> me to walk up because uh, not only does this pike still have flash, they're going to force a gank on you, but also you can't really get anything done, right? So you don't, you don't have a reason to do so. So this is what we mean by like, um, you have a theory. So like, this is what I think makes sense. And then do that thing and don't deviate from it. Because what the enemy is trying to do, or subconsciously or naturally or whatever, they're, they're not like trying to bait you, but by being there, they bait you because you want to like hit them, right? But uh, even though, even when you know you should like, you know, not fight or anything like that. So I don't know why he didn't stun you, but this is a free kill, right? Yep. Where he uses he, E to he catch done? up to me. Oh, he does? What? He uses E, and that's the only reason I really got into threat range. No, no, no. He walked up. Oh, he e Yep. Oh, he, you're he right. E yeah, I should have W'd. But uh, okay. Yeah, we lost a lot of, uh, we, I mean, it's, <laughs> it, it ended back. up being a good outcome, right? Because you got his ignite, but like, that's not, that ain't it. You know what I mean? Uh, oh, nice defense here. This is what I mean by the whole, the Hecarim was coming with the force and all that, right? Yeah. So um, I think, you know, we got to, <laughs> they ran it down. So, I mean, I can't, I'll take know. a freak out of that. I mean, yeah, I mean, we, you, played, you played mechanically very well, right? I do think that the idea didn't quite didn't quite make sense. This is one of the games where I was talking about, like, I don't know what to do in the mid-game or how to end the game, and this right, is right. this video will lead into it's a, that. So it's, a, it's like, a hope you a lot. Like, this laning idea is the exact same thing in mid-game. What do you think you should do? Do your actions follow that? Right? So like, here's right. here's a good example. Let's say let's say you're you you swap you swap to mid, right? And your team is making a three man top play. And the enemy mm -hmm. team was on dragon. What do you, what do you think you should do? Oh, we shouldn't push mid because they're gonna try and gank us mid. And yeah. what a lot of people would do is just automatically push the wave and they get forced on, right? Or a con ulti or hacker multi, whatever. Like everything in the game exists for them to force on mm -hmm. your mid, right? So that's, a, that's an exact example of in VOD review, you have an idea of what to do in game. Your actions did not make sense according to that, according to what you think, right? So yep. that's, that's kind of putting the two together is going to help, uh, help you figure out what you need to do mid game. And if you don't know what to do mid game, you want to come up with an idea. Right? So let's say, for example, you, we have the three, you know, your three-man team is, you know, diving top lane, they're killing him, taking tower, enemy team was doing dragon, and you say, I can get away with pushing mid because they're doing dragon. And all of a sudden, the, they show up because they weren't on dragon, they were faking it, and they kill you and take mid. Now you know that mid game, that doesn't work, right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense because they, they have this resource of just pretending to do dragon, right? So it's very much coming up with what you think is good, do that thing, and then see what happens, and, you know... Nine times out of ten, you should have the consistent result, right? Um, that's a feels bad. You're just dead as hell here, right? <laughs> yeah, Run! I think oh we're trying to kill here. Well, you're a genius. Oh, 
Uh, goodbye. Maybe not. How do you trade a kill? Yeah, no we way. don't. I was wrong. Oh? Yeah, there's no way. We were close. Bad. What do you think? Problem, not a problem. Problem. Why is it a problem? Because I die and lose this huge wave that was going to push into my tower and get a kill out of it. So, if we are from here, theoretically speaking, what do you think you should do here? Freeze it. Okay, I would agree. And then, uh, uh, why is that? Um, I'm not vulnerable to ganks with my HP where it is at. I mean, obviously, we've seen the Hecarim's not scared to dive my tower. <laughs> yeah. But... <laughs> right, right. And uh, uh, you can even say, you know, if you wanted to push, you know, what would you, you should just immediately base if you wanted to push. Right? Yeah. But, but the, 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 here's, the, here's the part where we were talking about the whole time. The, the, the idea doesn't make sense according to what you just said, right? Like uh, right here when you eat in, nothing should possess you to try and fight this because you said, I'm afraid of Hecarim gank. We want to freeze or we just want to base. I and, have the habit of following up on whatever my support does. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And exactly. leading oh, into stupid situations. This has to be so free that Pike and Hecarim are here, and you still think this is good, right? So that's how free it has to be. Otherwise, you know, we're, we're now now it's now it's now it's getting weird, right? Now yep. if you push this, um, like we saw, you actually just lost two v two straight up. Hecarim didn't even show up, but uh, Hecarim showed up mid. But look at this. By the time he showed up, were you guys in a vulnerable spot? Yep. Yeah, he hasn't shown up on the map yet. So he was bot side this whole time, right? He came from the bot side of mid, right? He was, he was like, here, he was like chilling, he was, he was chilling here. Yeah, he was chilling here somewhere. So, um, so that's kind of the uh, an idea that I think could help you a lot for laning and definitely the mid game is before you do anything, you come up with an idea of what you think you should do, and then stick to it as close as possible. Otherwise, you know, when random stuff happens, it feels like. You have no control. You're like, well, what should I have done differently? Oh, maybe I should have tried to kill him. But that doesn't really make sense, right? Maybe if Hecarim was topside, maybe you should have tried to kill him, right? Okay. Does that kind of make sense, right? Yeah, it, it does. It's always, it's always you, know when you, the, you know where the jungler is first before trying to make a play, especially yeah, far yeah. out and that HP. Yeah, yeah. You have all this information, and then you make an informed decision, right? Versus you know taking things what you see on the screen, like, oh, is this dive a good idea? Did you account for TP, for example, right? Um, or Azir can roam down. How fast can he roam, right? Or where's their jungler, right? Those are all the things that are, uh, are what you want to consider before you're like, oh, I want, I agree to this dive, yay or nay, right? Yeah. So you guys definitely don't want to dive. You have no flash. You need to get out of here. Um, Eve is here, but uh, you know I wouldn't count on him coming quick. So as forward, oh, and it's like you know this this kind of habit. So let's say you want to turn this. Let's say this is like a main thing we want to work on. So when do you think you should think of this, uh, like? come up with your theory of what you should do, when do you think you should do this? Uh, pu trying to push the tower, push the wave into the tower. Yeah, I think all those are good, right? When you, when, mm -hmm. before, right before you get to the wave, or when a wave shows up, I would do this step, right? Look at the map, come up with my plan, stick to it, right? I'm like, oh, I see this. I'm like, okay, I'd, so I'd, we're just going to safely clear this and run away from the Hecarim gig, something yep. like that. Right? And just then come Eve up is with also bot, we could... Yeah, just, counter, 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 yeah. counter, uh, counter gig, right? Um, and then if you see if you do something that isn't what you said, then you know there's something wrong. There's a disconnect between what you think what you think you should do and what you actually did. Like let's say for example, Rakan Ulti is in, right? And uh, you follow up even though you th you think in VOD reviews it doesn't make sense, and that's like the mm -hmm. disconnect we're talking about, right? So if your Ulti is in here and Pike and Hecarim show up, that's a monkey ass. So um, and we probably both die. Yeah, 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 exactly. So you see Hecarim mid, nice. And then uh, here's the here's the easy trick. Every time you see something. Um, affect your theory, like jungle shows up, or your laner dies, or the enemy laner dies, you can update this plan. Right? Mm -hmm. So you can say all of a sudden, oh, I want to push, because now they can't gank us. It's impossible. Right? Um, you can say, this is 2v2 now, we can gank. Or you can run mid so you can help Eve, or something like that. Right? But pretty much, you, you definitely want to have a plan in mind um, kind of at all stages of the game. Right? Laning mid game is all, is all very important. I came here for but two things. Going. Going. To, to suck some hard candy, oh. And suck some dicks. How'd you tank tower? Oh, this, this, this thing feels bad, man. It actually happens to me I, all the I time. I pushed so. the minion out of the way. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Uh, is this a good idea? What do you think? Uh, get a few plates and back off. Uh-huh. So We don't know where Hecarim is. <laughs> yeah, all okay. All leads not, back to the pony. Not only that, but what happens when you base? When I base, they're just going to push it right back to me. Yeah, and, uh, you know, what happened to your plates? I thought, isn't plate, getting plates good? Yes. So what are they gonna do? Gonna come and get plates. Yeah. So you know, is this <laughs> what, what happened, right? Like, um, yeah, my it, recall of timing is awful. 
right? And you know, not only not only are they getting plates, but you also if they push the wave into your tower, what happens? Uh, lose minions. Okay, and then not only that, not only that. Well, let's say you they push under your tower and you base. What are they gonna do right after they push? Not only are you gonna lose minions, but they're probably gonna go to that mountain Drake. That's up. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So there's there's definitely a problem with this this theory of we take these plates, right? So um, here's an easy cool. trick. Wish when I in doubt, here. get to lane before them, right? So if you mm -hmm. force them out of lane, they lose this wave. You base, you come back. Who won? I did. You won. And then can they do dragon in time? No. Exactly. And then did anyone get plates? No one got plates. So you got a wave on them, and then that's it. So you guys won. But if you stay too long, you know you're gonna get the plates. They're gonna get your wave. Um, you're gonna you know you're gonna lose a wave, and then uh, you're gonna lose dragon control, right? So it's very much keep winning. Let winning stay winning. Don't kind of, don't try and like get 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 more like this plate stuff. It doesn't it doesn't matter, right? Okay. Um, it's all about the waves. Cause this like you got that plate perfect. Let's get out, right? But uh, if you guys try and go for too much, like a plate and an extra wave is is is, is too. It takes too too it's long. It's too much and is just going to ruin my back timing. And Pike, exactly. And Pike pushes us off our recalls exactly. anyway. Yeah, exactly. And Hecarim's diving all of a sudden, right? So yep. <laughs> now, now we got problems everywhere. Like Eve can't even help you. She needs ulti. So there's just there's just no way. It, it, it doesn't really. It is. Oh, you actually gained dove. You have no ulti. Can you do it? Flash. Oh, nice ulti. Oh, I just, I just w? Ulti. oh, if you W'd him, that would be montage, right? But uh, see, like mechanically speaking, I think it's very well played. I don't Thank think you. we've had any mechanical problems, right? I think if there are things you want to look at, it's definitely this idea of what you think is good, do that thing. And try not to deviate unless something insane happens, right? Okay. Unless you get uh, updated information. So, um, KKK, I came here for two things. Oh, to suck hell? some hard candy and suck some dicks. Oh, nice dodge. Right. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that W. Oh, never mind. Rakana has guardian. Oh my god, he's trolling. Or is 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 uh is Hecarim here? Yeah, okay. <laughs> yep. Yeah, he was not trolling. All right, so we need Alpha. You're dead, right? Um, yeah. You can't you can't even trade kill here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's not even worth because Pike's gonna get it. I mean, uh, Rakan's gonna get it, right? Oh my god, you got it. And I did. Augers. You guys uh, played it well enough that your team's cleaning up. But uh, did you plan this? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, this is all. interesting, right? So how do, we, how do we... If you want this to happen again, how do you make it happen again? What do you think? Uh, not being so far forward and not knowing... I didn't over the junglers, so don't start a fight. Yeah, it's, it's a little too... too uh, what's it called? Um, inconsistent, I would say. Yep. For example, um, why, did Pike, why did Pike Ian... <laughs> Right, you actually, you guys aren't. If they just leave, you guys aren't getting anything here, right? Look at Pike. Pike's inting, right? And so, Pike takes two tower shots and just dies for it. And yeah, I get exactly. It. So a trade even with the Lucian. Right, right. So here's here's the thing. Remember, you said as you're walking up to the wave, or when a new wave comes in, you want to think of this, right? Back it up. Just back so it up at, all the way here. Look There's at a new the map. wave. Yeah, look at the map. What does this tell you? We have no idea where Hecarim or the top lane is. Uh huh. And uh, what's your jungler doing? And where's your millionaire? My jungler's on Rift Herald and my mid laner's in the base. So what do you want to do? Well, my mid laner's actually dead. He returns <laughs> yeah. to the base. Yeah, he's actually dead, yeah. So what's the strat here? What do you think Fall is good? Fall back. Let them push into me. Perfect. That's exactly what I would do, right? So definitely want to match your actions to what you think. And then, you, you know, fast forward, it's the same thing. Every time a new wave comes in, same thing, right? Look at so, the map. Decide what my options are. Yeah, exactly, exactly. All right. So I see this and I'm like, oh, Hecarim is coming bot side and so is Eve. So what, you think you can 3v3? I don't know. It's kind of kind of awkward. We can, we can, you know, look for it, but I would probably say it's a little spooky, right? Maybe if Rakana's ulti, I'll try for it, right? So, um, and then fast forward. It's the same thing. Every You said every time a wave comes in. So here's another wave, right? Same thing. Look at the map. And then what does that tell you? Oh, Hecarim's coming, right? That's it. Because we saw Hecarim was bot side the whole time and Eve is not close enough. So you see how that, so you see how this works, right? Yep. Is that you would not yeah, have? He's just doing him. his golems. Yeah, yeah, too. exactly. He's doing his krugs. Um, yeah, or, same thing. <laughs> so he, he's, he's like, you know, it's like, why did you hit him? Because he was in range. Pretty much. Right. Free so, autos on him. In VOD review, you know that it doesn't really make sense, right? So how do we come up with a way for you to uh, take the time to think about this really quick and then play the game, right? Um, otherwise, this is this is just this is gonna happen. It's either 
it's a it's a it's a coin flip of whether it works or not, right? Yep. <laughs> if your mid was losing, for example, your your R is definitely not coming down. In fact, their their mid laner is coming down. Uh, or if your jungle was went topside for some reason, he's not going to be able to get this random counter gank off. But um, oh, show me the W. Oh my God. Shut Hell yeah. Channel, but whatever, I'll yeah. take it. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of weird, right? Look at that. Uh, yeah. What? Wait a minute. <laughs> what? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait, it actually doesn't make sense. It doesn't. It's actually past him already. Okay, that's interesting. Thanks, I learned Rita. something new. I guess it's in the middle of the kill shot or something. Who knows? Um, yeah, let's take a look at this. You're going to kill this guy. Do a quick. Oh, what face? He's dead as hell, right? Because we just saw Hecarim die. I think you hit this tower, sure. Let's fast forward. So this is the mid game stuff, right? Yep. So let's kind of practice. Let's kind of, uh, when we play the, the, the replay, I want you to practice this habit. Now, as you're coming to lane, every time a wave comes in, I want you to tell me what you think you should do in these situations. Okay. Like, you know, starting from now, like, what do you think you should do? As Bottom, to top, or pushed out, so I should go mid and pick up CS. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can't really see the timers on anything. It's a little blurry. No worries, no worries. <laughs> and then what? What are you guys going to do after? Um, look for a dragon or vision, I would say. Right, right, and then uh, you know here maybe we can scuttle or something, right? Yeah. Uh, and then what are you guys doing? <laughs> and then what are you guys looking for here? I'm not quite sure. Just to, we want a tower. I mean, it's like, I have no idea, right? What are you guys doing? Yeah, I have no idea. I, 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 see... I literally have no idea. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So here's that's so. that's the whole this is the whole planning stage. This is where it's all relevant. Yeah. Right? Around these waves, on the wave, after the wave, whatever. So let's pause because pausing will give us a lot of time. Where do you think we mm -hmm. should go here? Probably either top or bot because Heimerdinger is sharing waves with me. Yes, and why do we need why do we need our own lane? So we can maximum our income. Maximize yeah, so we can get our, our items. Yeah, maximize our income. So boom, there you go. And it's during this wave or after you push the wave or when the wave comes in, you need this is you know the time to figure that out. And yep. it's really simple. It's like, what's your goal? What are you trying to do here? And you said maximize your income. How do we do Correct. it? Go to get our waves. Can they stop us? would say no we have all these words or something like that right so, we don't have any words well they i think there's a the this is a nice i mean you can get the bot because you have this pink that's really nice and they can't yep. get you because of this rivers I mean, I mean we have we have decent words right um at least at least it looks like to me um but i would say you know oh we should be fine right we should be we should be able to find this no problem right and it's like we eventually kind of go but uh you know we're a little bit slow in the sense that um it could have been really fast. Like we could have gone immediately, right? Instead of waiting around mid forever. Yeah, exactly. And possibly getting engaged on while your jungle is basing or something, right? <laughs> so monkey ass, and they hit push bot. Sure, this is good. My, right. My team's here, so I feel nice. And secure. then we need a kite, right? Oh, Eve's trolling. Oh, I don't want to do. I don't. I don't want to do this. Well, this is doable if you guys uh, kite it out, right? Oh, okay. Let's run. Yeah. Oh yeah. no, you walked forward. It's okay. He, didn't he started this under tower, and I didn't have a way in. Yeah, that's this is totally fine, right? Do you think you could have played this differently? Probably not, if I unless I was it. in a better spot. Right, I think, I think, you know, it's fine, right? Oh my, he's trolling, you won. <laughs> Alright, let's take the tower, right, guys? Easy Kill him, take the tower. Oh my god, you got fucking hooked. Uh, you can ulti for an uh, isolated Q? Oh, clean, baby. Uh, you kind of wanted to kill the Lucian first, but it's okay. So if yeah. you want to talk about mechanics... Um, I mean, part of it is experience, but um, if you want to if you want to talk about mechanics, when you're playing like some kind of big play, kill the back line. Who do you kill first? Their ADC or their carries. Yeah, yeah, the guy who does damage, the guy who kills you, right? So that's mm -hmm. just that's just you dumped a little bit too much into Pike, I think, right? Um, so it's okay. I, I mean, I like I really like the look. So that was the right idea. You say, oh, I should have flashed his stun or whatever, but yeah, um, I think it was a good idea. As long as you have the right idea. Unless you think you need to work on mechanics, then you know we're, we're, I think you're fine. I, right? I, I don't think my mechanics are the problem. I personally think it's just decision making and where I belong in the mid game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Agreed, agreed. Same, same, same. Oh, are you gonna flash for this? Oh, no, you're not. Okay, let's not do this. Uh, Maka S. Okay, good, 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 good. Push. And then you know here's here's the time. Like this is the time to like think about stuff, right? Oh, so please, what, please skip over this part. What should you do here? Oh, wow. go mid. Something or disaster happened. <laughs> Oh, I'm no. waiting for it. Wait, what are you red, doing? Red buff is spawning and I'm getting Wait, really greedy. No! 
you're the enemy jungle's warded. You're trolling. No. No. Uh, okay, what should you have done? What should you have done? Not been there. Well, like, you know, what's our goal here, I guess? Keep it simple, right? What's our overarching goal? To get more gold. Okay. Is there anywhere to get gold here? To me, Mid. it doesn't really seem obvious. Well, someone's already mid, right? Yeah, so I could either move to top because NASA's is going to push that out. Right. Well, what yeah. else could you do before you go top? Like, what's another goal here? The scuttler spawning. Uh, Map, or am I missing okay. something? True, but, you know, in solo queue, this is the, the classic mid game goal. That isn't oh, the dragon. This. Yeah, yeah, the dragon. So we can set up dragon. We can yeah, even start it. Right. So you can actually solo this, and uh, Hecarim is forced to ulti in and he kill his ass, right? So. Yeah. Um, that's like a you, you you kind of plan around that. Or if you think dragon's not worth shit and you want to maximize your income, okay, yeah, Scuttle is perfectly fine, right? Go top, right? Go bot, anything is good. But you need to have like a, a a goal in mind. So here you're like, I want the red buff, and it's good that you are looking for this, but you also have to watch it and say, why does this not work? So why does it not work? Uh, we have no wards. Uh huh. Uh huh. Any, anything else? Why is there, why is this? There, a, we don't know where any of them are. Right. So what happens if you try and do this? I got engaged on. They have vision, and I pretty much troll here. Yeah. How many? How many people are here? Three. I knew. I knew where Azir is. I shouldn't even have done this. I saw him in the bot lane when I was killing that ward right there. Is it, is it only three, or could it be more than three? It definitely could have been f at least four. Yeah, yeah, it could have been four, right? So you know, you think you can two v four, not without ulties. So. That's yeah. the uh, that's the idea. And if you're like, oh, if you want to sneak this red, what must what 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 is what is required for you to sneak this red? Pinker lens. Yeah, they they have to not be able to see you. So that's it, yeah. right? You you can problem solve from watching this replay alone. So you know that this doesn't work because you need a you need a sweeper it, and you know you also need to be fast enough to kill it. But I think you are right. So yep. it's very much a do your actions match your goal. And, uh, you know, the, the, there's a planning stage and execution stage, right? So here, the planning didn't make sense, right? Also, guess who is here? Check it out. Oh, do you see that? Yep, they did see it. It was four people, right? <laughs> yep. So, yeah, that's, uh, you know, this is the mid-game stuff where, you know, what do you think you should be doing and then do that thing? So, you know, now we know that you can't really steal their red, right, without your team. So that's basically a mid-game in a nutshell, right? Do the Pretty things much. you think make sense. And then do your actions match do you do you, does your action match your theory? Does your action match your plan? Right. So wow, Storm Razor slow. Hog champ. Pike and Hecarim are coming if you're not careful. Oh, there's there's Hecarim, right? <laughs> okay, nice. We're coming to this fight. Because the five before take I become really late. I mean this is I mean you're you gotta go safe, right? You saw yep. if you went the other way, you're getting dunzoed unless you could ulti make some kind of ulti play. So hey, whoa, 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 where are we going? Oh, you have no Eve. Okay, that's fine. I was like, oh, we can drag it. We can Baron, but no, that's not happening, right? Yep. Oh, 4v3, easy clap, right? Let's go, baby. Show me the easy clap. Uh, you need an ulti, by the way. Uh, Monkey S, you're dead. Oh, triumph. Nice. Get spicy, uh, don't worry. Uh, okay, isolated Q, nice. Two seconds on your W. Oh, oh, easy clap. OT, oh, let's go. <laughs> Dude, the mechanics are clean. He gets away. For the most part, that that's fine, that's fine. It was really well played. Um, like, as long as it's, as long as you have the idea and you play well enough to, end to make the idea work. Oh, yeah, I don't know. What's the idea here? What are you guys trying to do? Uh, push down mid since we killed a few of them. Oh. Get more out of they, it. Can they stop you from pushing mid? Oh, most definitely. If they have a pike yeah, ultimate. definitely stop you from could pushing mid, us. right? I mean, Lucian one-shots you, so... <laughs> uh speaking of which uh so yeah it's very much a maybe you do have an idea but you want to take a look and see if you does your idea make sense All right i want you to think like uh, a plan of action is one that will work no matter what they do right that's kind of the right. the, the idea right um otherwise you're it's just it's just doomed <laughs> Right, if you do something that you're not sure if it'll work, that's just testing. That's what we call testing, right? Um, but if you're at this level, you don't need it. You don't really need to test more, right? It's like uh, diamond players can already be masters if they stick to what they know is good and avoid what they know is bad, right? Yeah. So, what, what what do you think happened here? You try to go for more or something? Like, yeah, I went. I went for the. I went. I greeted for the kill like I do most of the time in solo queue. I, uh, yeah. 
So let's just pause here. Everyone. Is, so I want you to think every time you approach a wave, you want to do this habit. Okay. So what's your plan here? My plan here is to push down and get mid and hit if possible. They have two people dead. But so do we, unfortunately. Is that uh? Is that fr is that guaranteed? Is that free? It is not. Yeah, it's not free. I want you to think. I want to come up with something that's free. Yeah, yeah, I want to think of something that's good that's free. Because I know what I would do immediately. The top wave. Uh huh. So let's go through like uh, your actions here. So okay, we'll kill mid wave and then what? Go straight top. Yeah, go top and then what? Recall probably and spend yeah, recall. my gold so, and regroup with team. Yeah, this is me. I'm like, okay, I'll get the mid wave, red, Krugs, top, and then recall for an item, right? So mm -hmm. that's like, so that's just like how fast I can come up with it because I've seen it a million times, right? But um, you can try to go for like this tower, but you know, after you do this a million times, you know this doesn't work, right? Yep. It legit just straight up doesn't work. So um, for whatever reason, maybe you have no health, maybe you have no resources, maybe they're spawning, maybe it's TP behind you. And right? then I get into um, the field that I need to assist my team in all scenarios. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. I would have been like, I'm already, I would have been gone here. I'm like a back ping. I'm like, I'm out, guys. Like, I'm already gone. Like, yeah, I don't know, I, I don't know what you guys are doing. So, <laughs> see ya. That's that's um, a burden on me. It's, yeah, I, yeah, exactly. I feel like if my team's doing something, I have to help them, or I'm just gonna get, you know, everyone's gonna yell at me. Right, it's happened then, before. Uh, well, you just mute them because they're also at your rank, right? So they don't know what they're doing either. <laughs> but uh, look at the look at the top wave. This is important, right? Look at the top wave. So what's going on with the top wave here? It's pushing into us and dying. All right, check it out. Let's fast forward a little bit. That's that's one wave. That's like two waves, right? Three waves, four, five, four, four or five waves. It's actually gonna be like it's gonna get to ten eventually. Yeah. But uh, that's like actually so much CS right there. That's like. And I t picked up red buff and went mid instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's it's. Uh, it's hard, right? Um, honestly, it's hard for you to go top here too because you don't know where their um, Hecarim is. It's just, it was more of a, oh, you saw Hecarim, so maybe you can't go top here, right? But it's more of a, because we were trying to get that mid tower earlier, you lost your opportunity to make money and now you're stuck at two items, right? Yep. So that's kind of the, the, the main idea is, you know, the, the plan you're coming up with, you want it to be cleaner in the sense that it'll always work, right? It's like if you guys are sieging mid, it doesn't make sense. This doesn't always work. What would you guys rather do here after you push? Uh, maybe we can't go bottom because of Baron's up. Right, right. Go top because right? of the zero towers placed go there top. or even get vision on Baron. Yeah, exactly. Boom. That's exactly what I would do, right? So you just need to, you can come up with it literally within five seconds of watching the replay. Now you just <laughs> need to take the time in game to figure it out and then go do that thing, right? So okay. you guys are just chilling mid, just AFK, and then, you know, we have advantage here, but we're not doing anything with it, right? So, it's like you guys are trying to see you a zero tower or something, I don't know what's going on, right? But, uh, yeah, you guys definitely want to uh, word up the Baron, so let's just fast forward, though. Uh, let's see what's going on here, okay. Uh, what is your team doing? I don't understand what's going on here. Okay, this is looking really strange, but it's a team fight, so here we come. Uh, kind of even, but kind of Maka S as well. Oh, that's spooky. You're dead. What? Why didn't he ult you? I don't know. I was thinking that to myself when I was in game. Interesting. You were so dead there. All right, let's take a look, because this is the first time we're seeing some mechanical ideas. I probably could have ulted back towards my team off the Nasus. Instead of just behind and t more towards my team, instead of just so running away from here? the back room. Yep. You see any problems with that? Um, besides the Az Azir being there, probably. Oh yeah, there's that too. So you're you're probably losing a lot of HP. Um, I mean, grouping up for Hecarim ult would be a problem. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, how do you stop the Hecarim ulti now, right? True. So let's let's uh let's 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 take this. So. Um, what else can you do better? Let's let's kind of keep it. Let's no, yeah, just keep going, just keep going. What else can we do better? Uh, my back timing, I guess, could have been better, so I would actually be here to help them. Well, let's just watch the fight. Or honestly, not come in, in at all. In solo queue, this is pretty. This is pretty common, right? So yeah. Thing. Not came back in after Hecarim blew everything of mine. Okay, and how Otherwise, do we know? How do we know we shouldn't go back in? Or my entire team is leaving. 
Mm. We're trying to escape out. Um, otherwise, sure, sure. So let's say you're like trying to fight here. What can you do? Unsure. And why are you unsure? Unsure. Because I just I don't think I should have came in back into this fight. Right. How, how, well, how does how does Kaisa like make plays? With her stealth and her ultimate. Okay. You have those. I do not. Yeah, that's it, right? So you can't do anything here. Um, so you shouldn't, you, should, you know, you can, you can, you can come up with a habit to like not walk up when your important abilities are down, right? That's one thing you could, mm -hmm. you could look at, right? Here's another thing: is what happened to our important abilities in the first place? What do you think? I blew them trying to escape from Hecarim. Well, oh, that one's to get into the fight, I guess. Yeah, right? yeah. What happened to your E here? I used it to enter the fight instead of using it from uh, mobility. Uh, and uh, mechanical you know, I'll play. Uh, no, is this is this a good idea to eat into the fight? Why or why not? No, because then I don't have it to escape when they jump on me. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. Uh, so that's that's one part of it, right? What happened to your W too? I used it at the start. So what? Uh, if you use your W on Nasus, can you kill Hecarim here? Look at this. How close is Hecarim to dying? Check it out. She has one proc left. Is this a W or what? Yeah. Look at that. Oh. Should have had W right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can actually W like at mid ulti while he's ulting or something like whatever. It is, you, have, you have options, right? So if yep. there is mechanical ideas we want to work at, uh, I think it is the way you use your abilities is something to take a look at. So um, here's the easy tip. If you're approaching a fight, you want to just save everything for max value, right? Okay. And you know what max value looks like already. Like what is, what is good value on your W look like? Uh, killing someone with it, like using it to killing proc it. your uh, proc your passive. Yeah, I mean that's pretty much that's pretty much the main usage, right? Yeah, or to. Besides... I mean, I use it a lot to be able to enter the fight. Yeah, yeah, you can do that too. Just um, ulti off of. Right, you can do that too. But uh, so those are the two good uses, right? Did it happen in this? Did, did we use it for either case in this fight? No. Yeah, so that's how you know it didn't. That really was sense. well. That was my original idea. I'm pretty sure entering in this fight, but. Yeah, I just didn't. I didn't think it was gonna be a good idea after my team already. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't make sense. Completely shredded. Your, t your team's already dying. So if there's a way in, they're gonna charm, charm, charm someone or ulti someone, or you can always W later, right? Yep. And then E usage is like you said to escape or to go invisible, that kind of stuff. Um, here's a spicy one. If you want to do damage with E, what's the best time to do it? In the middle of the fight, or like when we're already there. Yeah, in the middle of a fight, uh, because there's this. Interesting interaction. Check it out. If you have six stacks of Rage Blade, mm -hmm. you better use your E before or after the six stacks. After. I definitely after, right? It's insane. So um, that's actually an interesting idea you can use. Too. I didn't think about it like that. Yeah, I didn't either until I saw my own replay and I was like, how do I do so much damage? And it's like, oh, I guess if you have Rage Blade stacks and you use E, it's insane. Um, and then you know, you already know what ULT looks like, right? So it's yep. like, oh, save yourself, go kill someone, that kind of stuff. So um, if there is a, a fight you're approaching, and you, you need to, you know, you, you you guys are losing at the start. That means you have to pick up the, the slack, right? And if you waste abilities, what does that mean? If on accident. Uh, I don't have, I don't have the slack to pick. I yeah, can't pick exactly. any slack because I have nothing to pick it up with. Yeah, exactly. So you should just back off, right? So yeah. just, uh, just a team fighting um, idea for Kaiser we're seeing here. That um, easy, easy idea you can keep in mind as you're team fighting, right? And you guys was, actually lost Baron, holy shit. Yeah, that was a big throw on our part. Oh, uh, that's a disaster. But yeah, feels bad, man. Okay, let's see what's going on here. So, so far, the main game ideas we're looking at is like, you know, coming up with your theoretical plan and also team fighting stuff, right, for the mid game. And that pretty much covers the mid game from what we've seen so far, right? Yep. Okay, this is what face. Oh, easy kill. Oh, can you ulti that? Nope. You don't have to. Oh, ulti the Azir. Show me. Hey, that was clean as hell. Right? Oh, that was yeah. your first, right? Yep. Shoot. Very nice, very nice. My very kill nice steal. The he kill steal upset. I triple. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Kills my man. Oh, kill this Hecarim too. He's trolling. What the hell? What is he doing? Okay. You can actually Dumb. end the game if you, uh, found, if you found another kill. You guys maybe could have ended the game. Yeah. Nah, we really played possible. safe route and got yeah, a little yeah, bit yeah, more and then reset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Agreed. It seems to be the right call for me. Oh, okay. Then we go top. Sure. Uh, oh, coming back to this fight. So it seems like things, you, you kind of, 
things are a lot more basic when you have an inhibitor or baron on your side, right? So it doesn't seem like you, you need any help figuring out what to do. Like here, you're like, yep. oh, let's push top because it inhibs down, right? So no problem there. Um, here comes the team fight. Um, okay, if you thought you could one shot him after ulting, sure, you can E first. Sure, sure, sure. That's also a, a, a usage of E. I, I have that habit also using E just to catch up to get in range of my ultimate. If you think it's it's worth, right, then it can be fine. Like here, yep. you guys were winning the fight at the beginning. So, you know, you can keep it going by doing that. Um, if you guys are losing, though, that might not be good. <laughs> Unless it's a swing play. Um, yeah, okay, you guys win. Wait, you guys don't win. What the hell? We don't win. We die to a zero. You you should be fine. Oh, his ass. Oh, the pike. The pike got the me. Pike. Yeah, I didn't either. What do you think? Problem or not a problem? Problem. This is something that'll happen a lot of times. Let's take a look. What do you think? This happens a lot to me for some reason. All right. So what uh what are some things that you could do better here? What do you think? Stay. Not staying that long, or you know, moving away from my teammates so we all don't get streamer shuffled. You guys, you guys can end right. There's a few things that come to mind, but I want to see if you can see it first. So what's one we already talked about, I guess? Saving my abilities, I right, guess. So, uh, which, which, which one in particular? My E. Yeah, why is it was important? My, I used my E on the towers, trying to quickly end the game, and I jumped on and had right, a flash right, right, right. So, yeah, it gets really weird because, you know, now you have no E. Um, okay, so we can save our E. Uh, what else? What else? Let's take a look. This is, let's see if I can help you here. How did we get caught by Azir? He he used his dat like his soldier to, to dash you and used Shreemer Shuffle or his ulti, whatever dicks. that name is. So if I send you back in time here and you play this fight out, how many times can you beat this Azir ulti? Out of a ten, out of ten. Nine times. Yeah, nine times out of ten. Beyond yeah. like brain lag or something, I don't know. So how come you couldn't do it now? You had ninety percent win rate. I was too fixated on the tower. Yeah, exactly. All right, so let me tell you: Is this tower going to fight back? I mean, not really. <laughs> who's going to uh, Who's going to fight back here? The Azir or the yeah, Pike that's coming in. Azir and the Pike. So this is a really, really um, strong idea for people at this level as well. Is don't worry about. The thing, like the thing that you're hitting, is not always the guy you need to pay attention to, right? So let's say, let's say you guys are doing Baron and you're looking for a turn. You don't need to look at the Baron, right? You just right click it, right? Yep. Or let's say Malphite ultied in and you already used all his ability, abilities. You 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 are supposed to hit him, but then you look at his ear so you can try and kill him or something, right? Mm -hmm. um, you don't need to look at the thing you're hitting. So this is one of those um, uh, habits you can insert here, where if you're hitting something and it's not a threat to you, look at the thing that is a threat. The, the, the pike that's not dead right and they then the azir yep. so that's always a good habit to have in team fights and you you can train this habit by anytime a team fight breaks out don't pay attention to the guy you're hitting unless it's a guy who's a threat to you pay attention to the guys who are going to kill you right oh, yeah. um, pay attention to the threats not the yeah yeah not the not, not the not the environment right so yep. um, usually this happens with dragon baron you know towers um so yeah if you watch this azir watch this azir okay tell me if this is surprising not at all. He's trying to save the game, and we're yeah. looking for it. <laughs> he has nothing else he could do, right? This is the only thing he's gonna do. So you know, why does your whole team get caught? Your whole team is thinking the same thing, right? Oh, let's just hit structures, kill minions, finish the nexus, and then uh, yep. you guys got you guys got easy done sweet. Though. Yeah, but so didn't work like that, and then ended up coming man. back. Okay, let's take a look. Oh my god, the ballsy Baron play is not gonna work, is it? Okay, you I guys need out. No, 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 this is not working. You're killing it too fast. Eve is not going to be here in time. Oh my god, it actually worked. Oh! What? I wanted to leave that too, so... But everyone else kept pinging it, so... Holy shit, they spotted you at the beginning. The Hecarim is coming in. You guys are crazy. Alright, if you want the chance of this working to be increased, you need to uh, type in chat what the play is here, right? So, you need to say like, hey... This Rakan, you need to ulti the Hecarim or something. Uh, but, okay. Um, sure. Wait, you guys don't end? What the hell? Okay, here comes Azir, by the way. Oh, you're dead as fuck. 
There's a zero, right? Oh, you're so dead. What do you think? The uh, threat was a zero, and you got back on me. Mm -hmm. And who else is a threat to? Hecarim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is just the the same thing essentially. It's just in a different scenario where you need to pay attention to the guy who's killing you, right? Or yep. the guy who can kill you. So like, check it out. This is the Malphite. This is the Malphite who used all his abilities, right? The Nasus. Yep. So who do you pay attention to in this team fight? The Hecarim coming in from behind. Uh, Hecarim is here. Maybe Lucian one shot, but I doubt it. You have ulti and maybe Pike stun, right? So Hecarim and Azir are probably the, the two. They're like statistically likely to kill you, right? Out of everyone else. So you hit this guy, that's fine. And then you want to look for the Azir and the Hecarim and you're good to go. So otherwise, this is just going to happen every time, right? Um, so there's a team fighting idea you want to work on. Sure, there's like ability uh, ability usage you could take a look at, but also paying attention to what's going to kill you rather than the guy you're hitting, I think is going to be more valuable okay. in the long run. Because, you know, overall, the way you use your abilities are pretty good. I think that one time you just like <laughs> try to eat into the fight or something. I don't know. Um, let's take a look at this. You guys can actually still lose, by the way. It feels bad. I know. Oh, this is where I started sweating. <laughs> yeah, this uh, Azir is actually about to pop off after one more teamfight loss. Oh, please tell me to kill them. If you ulti, you better kill them. Oh, that's not good. Well, everyone go home, right? Wait, you killed Pretty much. Yeah. We uh, killed one. You killed one. Okay, if you can kill Azir, we can end the game. Man, this game is getting strange. You have Flash. Well, you can do it. Welcome it to up. Diamond 4, so look you. If you E in with Rage Blade and then Flash, you, can have, you have a big play here. Oh. But there goes my health bar. Yeah, it feels bad. Oh, Azir is trolling again. <laughs> Flash? Nope, never mind. You don't have to. Oh, okay. You're dead, by the way, I think. Unless he has no wither. <gasps> he has no wither. Oh, go, go, go. Nice try. Um, I attempted. That's okay. It that was a nice try. If there's anything to look at here, what do you think it is? I still feel like it comes to overstaying, maybe. Mm, I think it's overstaying. Really. He used my E to enter the fight again, I realized. Yeah, so that's not I good. <laughs> I didn't notice that till now. Yeah, that's not good, but uh, yeah, that's one of them. If there's any, the single biggest impact thing that you could change to help you win games in this fight, what would it be? I don't know. <laughs> uh, we have Baron minions I could back up. And let the minions do some work before getting poked out like that. Otherwise, I don't know what I could have done. Kill the Lucian here instead of the Nasus. It's kind of dicey, right? He flashed in, so. Yeah. Unless you're expecting that, that's a good luck. You think? I mean, for me, this is what I would be thinking here. From here. <laughs> What's the uh, what's the big idea here? I don't know. <laughs> what's good usage of ulti? To get in their back line and kill them. Well, basically, or just kill, kill a guy, right? Yeah. So what happens if you don't kill someone with ulti? It's a waste. All right, and what happens to your ability to carry? It's, it goes it's a little bit a less. Lower. Yeah, it's, it's lower, right? So that's yep. that's. I think that's something you might want to look at. Is um, in these team fights, it, se it seems to be a common trend of your team is losing at the start. How are you reacting to it to carry it? Because you know you are six items, right? So theoretically, you can just. I could jump to that Lucian like, right there too. Roll over people. Well, what happens if you jump on Lucian? Uh, the Nasus jumps on me, and probably the rest of their team collapses. Right. So if you want to jump on Lucian then you have to have a specific plan. It's not impossible well, to do it, but how would you do it? I would jump on Lucian. I got my Hemer Dinger to the side and maybe ulti up there uh, to the top. Yeah, that's, that's really clean. That's, that's exactly what I'm thinking. E, auto attack Q, ulti out, because the is coming, right? So that could be really good. Uh, but you, you can't really go for this unless you come up with it. Like You, you have to flesh it out, otherwise yep. you're going to get caught. Um, I took the safer option to get into yeah, the fight. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Honestly, I would, you know, I would just walk around, right? So mm -hmm. coming from the front, no problem. Um, you wouldn't have used ulti to get into this. No, 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 no. Right? You're no. not killing him, right? Remember, like when you use it, 
if it if, you know this is your your let's say this is your um your your let's say you have like every every person on your team has like five cards this is a really bad analogy but let's say everyone has like a card to play right okay and you only have one and if you play it you will need to win you need to win the hand for your team right if you play it and you don't win the hand then so you have to, someone else on your team has to win otherwise you guys are losing right true so this is your card to play then and it didn't work then you know there's a there might be a problem in that sense right so that was a really strange analogy. I don't know. I mean, it's probably, some, <laughs> it it's probably something better I could come up with. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that's, that's basically what's going on, right? So, the team fights. Um, Kanex look really good. The team fighting. There might be some ideas you could look at, though, for team fighting. Wow, he tried to steal it. Okay, you guys definitely win now. Fast forward. Just kill, just hit someone. Dude, Rakan can actually just solo some people now. <laughs> yep. With this other buff, let's go. Fucking get in there. Good job, Eve. That's all you need. Good shit. Fast forward. You guys, oh, I mean, we could watch this, but I think it's just. Yeah, just we just we just run them down and win really, the game. Really good. Let's take a look at this. I think we have enough time to look at this. You have any questions so far, by the way? Uh, not really. Most of them have been answered already. Good, 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 good. good. Has the has it's... the mid game ideas been making sense in terms of helping you figure out what you need to do next? Kinda, I just need to take a second to think about what my next move should be. Right, like if you take a look at here, boom, what's your next move? Uh, what should you guys do theoretically? We uh, probably should freeze, not freeze this wave, but if we have York pushing on the top side, I could push down mid lane. Okay, if I said or, you push down otherwise mid Otherwise Dragon's die. coming up too, but Zin yeah. dead, so it's Siri walking into their jungle. Right. So what's our what's our next what's the overall idea next as a team? As a team? Um well we should look to get dragon coverage. Okay, so I if I said Okay, yeah, you guys can't, right? Yeah. Why is that? Because we are missing our jungler. So what should you do? I don't know. The, the answer is simpler than you think. Just farming? Well, Maybe. until when? Until we get kind of where the river starts, then we can back off. Like so, okay. Like let's say you know, ideally we want dragon control, right? Yep. But you said we can't do it because our jungler is dead. So when are so we going to get that dragon farm until our jungler comes up? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. So we, oh, okay. The idea is we wait for our jungler, and then if something happens on the screen, and you're like, the your first instinct won't be okay. Let's fight. It will be holy shit. Our jungle's not on the map, right? Yep. You see how that works? Is that this is. Your team's plan is wait for the jungler. So what does that mean for you specifically? I just clear mid until he's alive, right? Pretty much, yeah. Get as much money as I can until he's alive. Right, exactly. So I don't know why you went bot. Oh, oh is, is Greg is a solo laner? Oh, yep, okay, okay, that's why. That's why. That's Holy out. shit. <laughs> yeah, okay, you're good. Never mind. <laughs> I got confused for a second. All right, good. And then, uh, oh, what's the plan now? You see that? Uh, what's the plan here? I could collapse on that server, but wait, J4 is right there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. See, you see how this works, right? So yep. No, Back up. To... All right. Oh, it's uh, the jungle's bot side, and what's your Zen doing? He okay. is killing probably Scuttle up top or doing something. All right. So, what do you guys need to do? That. Uh... Okay, I thought that was on my screen for a second. Uh, I... <laughs> we need to fall back to our tower. Yeah, exactly. Right. So I'm like, oh, okay, we need to defend the dive two v three. Right. So. That's that's kind of what you want to be want to want to be thinking these in these cases. Or you, if you say you can't you can't defend the dive and you back. Yeah. So that's really good, right? This is a mid game decision making. It is oh we couldn't defend, so you have to be, you have to peace out. Like oh okay, team's fighting, so you guys are trying to run up. This is good. I think you guys can make it in time. Let's check it out. No need to flash. Your team's already won. Let's just push. All right. Good. 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 Push mid. Very nice. Yeah, we don't have to do anything. It's nice. Also, <laughs> why'd you go? Uh, why'd you go Infinity Edge here? I think about the. Uh, I was trying out, not really trying out. I was doing the crit build. This was a couple yeah. patches ago, too. Oh, really? Yeah. So was the Kaisa game. Kaisa game was last patch. All all the files that I tried recording recently got messed up or something with the wrong oh, file. So we're using. It was bad, man. Not the ones I wanted to use. Well, the Kaisa one I wanted to use. Okay. Okay. And then it's a five v four, right? Yep. Oh, it's not possible. Next step is push Mego Baron, right? Oh, how do they push? Hold up. Wait, your, your 
Oh, it's 4v4. Right. Yeah, no, Gragas. Yep. Gragas died. Sure, sure, sure. Push, push, push. Oh, you don't have an item. So, uh, you want a pink ward, I, I guess. Zeal. Yeah, 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 I want the pink ward. Well, I mean, Zeal's not bad, but imagine if you base for a Zeal and then you base for your Zeal item. You base twice, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, what happens mid, which is what's happening here. You, you guys are getting pushed in. So, it's just a, uh, if you think it's worth or not kind of idea. Uh, this is really bad. Unless uh, there's something going on here. Oh, okay, never mind. Oriana has zero damage. <laughs> Let me watch this. Oriana has zero damage. Probably took a bad path there, too. Oh my god, zero damage, Oriana. Zero oh. damage. The path is fine, right? Unless you think you want to go through Dragon. But... No, I was talking about, like, I came out of the wall and uh, took the long way around. I can't. Uh, I think, I mean, I think this is fine to me. But... Otherwise, I just don't catch up to the fight. Oh, we just killed them all. <laughs> take, a, take a look at this, take a look at this. So what is the enemy team supposed to do here? They're trying to contest. Right, what should they do? Give it up. And uh, what could they do while they're giving it up? Classic. Blue buff, you know, push, go top wave. But Not most importantly... Fighting. Most importantly? Uh, the most important thing they could do here. Push down middle? Uh, and then we'll just fall behind them, though. It's already, it's already pushed, right? And you... Yeah. Or go push. Baron, get Baron Vision while we're Baron doing Baron Vision. They're gonna sneak Baron Vision. Yeah, finally, so I think of something. They're gonna put it in spicy. They're gonna put it in spicy spots where you can't sweep it. Right? Perfect. Mm -hmm. So now you guys can't Baron, right? So they're trying to deny your next step. So I don't know what they're doing here, but that, they don't have the right idea, right? So yeah, <laughs> it's kind of uh, it's kind of spicy. Um, so you're just running running them all down. It's worth a flash to get a kill, I think. Sure. Um, you're making some money. Mid game still worth. So get the red. Push mid. Good. Good. I think um, as long as you have like the, as long as you come up with an idea before you do something, right? Like here, like before this fight happens, you would have wanted to come up with your idea beforehand, and then you play it accordingly. I think you're you're gonna you're gonna quickly figure out what you want to do mid game, right? Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, you got caught, or you should have gotten caught. <laughs> uh, I'll mechanic I'll mechanic them though, right? So. Like, well, what should you have done here? Uh, I don't know, backed up. Right, not going into that? Oriana's face and try trading yeah, with her. Because she yeah. could, a good Oriana or a, a head Oriana will one-shot me. Or just right. an even Oriana will one-shot me. If you had Flash, could you, uh, could you hit him? I could, but I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, I would, I would, actually, do, I would actually go for it, right? We'll pop ulti, we auto-attack him, Flash his ulti, we take away all his health, we can Baron, right? We have mm -hmm. Baron pressure now, so but it's just that's the idea, right? If you don't have an idea and you try and hit him, or if your idea is hit him, you should learn for you should kind of figure out that it doesn't work, right? Um, or should it shouldn't work? You debated him so hard, check it out. You like tumbled, and then you're like, oh, just kidding, and then you got him. <laughs> good shit, good shit. Always debate first, right? So, right. Very nice. They have no me Oriana. Me mom them first. It's okay. Oh, okay, Bye. Baron now, right? They have no HP. Good, 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 good. What? What is your team doing? Start this thing. What? Wait, you guys think you can't turn? Okay, whatever. That's fine. If your team can't do it, you just push. That's fine. I don't remember. This was during a scrim, so this is actually team play with Panic Gaming. So, I, they, someone made a call and to not do it, okay, I guess. Maybe they were like, hey, let's not 50-50. I think you can start think, it I, and just fight. I think it was something to do with like a smite or something like that, probably. Oh, he's gonna out smite me, or he's, there's a 50 yeah, he, didn't, he didn't have smite, probably. Oh, yeah. Probably an issue. We can pretend to have smite and then turn, I guess. The spicy, you wanna know the spicy play? Check it out. Check it out. So, like, after you beat him up, wait, hold up. We'll go back to that example where we killed his, killed his ass. Here's like a spicy plan you can come up with. This is just like a, a thought exercise, right? So, we're like, oh, he's gonna try and smite over the wall. We know that they have no HP. How do we win? What do you think? To turn on them. And yeah. How do how do we do it? Zinjitzau, Gragas, and Brom can all jump over the wall. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking, right? So, but I can't. Stand here. So I guess I wasn't thinking that. The three of you stand here. Jarvin checks. Everyone goes because he has no flag, right? So that's that's a spicy thing you can come up with, but it, I mean, that's it's, it's fine. It's, it's, it's like a team solo, thing, and so. solo queue that might not have worked. Yeah, and solo queue that's that's not gonna happen, right? But that's just like like uh 
something you guys can come up with you know it's just yeah. it's, it's basically that's good, how, that's good thinking for a team play though yeah, yeah yeah it's always like a how do we know it works because the whole premise was that we win team fight because they're low and mm -hmm. jarvin can't get away because he has no combo right so um yeah it's 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 a fun one. basically just practice coming up with these ideas and put it into action and it should work nine times out of ten if you have the right idea in solo queue all right solo queue is very is is not as much gray area as you would think in solo queue it's really the same shit over and over again right so the thing you do it should work nine times out of ten i don't know what's going on here but you guys should go baron okay so what do we know after we push mid we should go get baron pressure uh, fake it all right i don't care what you guys do you can even start it you have three pinks so uh, but uh you guys want to be doing something also uh if you have 1900 gold you could probably just stay on the map until you have the full item i think yeah that probably would matter i'm literally 100 gold off my blade yeah. i think i i farm this and recall again so <laughs> yeah exactly because if you I'm recall pretty... they're gonna clear baron vision right so yeah feels bad man it's okay um but that's just recall stuff you can think about is um usually speaking i ideally recall on an item mm -hmm. a full item right. i still have that item and i'm don't have it Okay, let's take a look what's going on here. Okay, it's interesting. This is team fighting stuff. I, I don't think you have too many. You don't have any any problems with team fighting stuff unless it's like ability or some more advanced concepts. I think for now, it's fine. What do you think in terms of team fighting? Team fighting, I feel like I do pretty well at. I mean, yes, I, I learned something new by learning to focus a, the target that's actually, you know, I should be scared of, not the one I'm hitting. That was good to think about. Okay. Well, do you want to see any examples of that? I have some examples if you want to take a look. Sure, I'll take a look. Okay. Um. Ba -ba -da -ba. I need to save more examples, honestly. <laughs> uh, ideas. I mean, here's 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 one, I guess. <laughs> I'm like a spotter. Oh, you're playing Vane too. What do you think? Same concept, or? Yeah, uh, not really. I mean, what am I looking at here? The gangplank. Am I though? <laughs> You're attacking the gangplank and looking at the Lucian. I'm assuming. Yeah, I mean, can gangplank do anything to us at level ten? No, yeah, he is exactly. not scaled up yet. Easy right click. What about Lucian? Lucian, he can do damage to you. He yeah, can do something. So, oh, yeah. all we have to do is pay attention to Lucian, right? Mm -hmm. uh, let me see. Here we go. How about this one? Tog looking at everyone. I was uh, I had some I had like five eyes in this fight. You gotta be careful for Oriana Ulti and Blitzcrank Cook. Uh -huh. And you dodge everything because you're Jesus in a nutshell. Well, who am I looking at here? Like, when I cast this Cog Ulti, I promise you I'm not looking at Kaisa. <laughs> right? When I cast this Cog Ulti, I'm looking at Oriana. You're time, looking at right? Oriana. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's basically that's basically what's going on here, right? Um yeah, that, was, that was the end of that clip, I guess. And you dodge but, Oriana and Blitzcrank abilities. That... Yeah, because that's all I'm paying attention to, right? Uh, let me see. Is there a... Uh, I don't have that many more examples, but we can take a look at this. This is less about them killing you and more about you know, um, finding opportunities because you're not looking at the guy you're hitting, right? Take a look at this. Let's forward here. Okay, take a look. Um, yeah, we can start from here. So the whole idea is just basically don't look at the guy that has no threat to you, right? Okay. So it can be used offensively and defensively, uh, but it just basically helps you get a better outcome in these team fights, right? Mm -hmm. So starting from here, we would say, right? Can't on the left side of you. You see it? Ooh. Oh, did you see the, uh, what was the spicy moment? You and you got around and killed the Lucian. Right. Yeah. Is it, is it, did I sneak it in or what? Right? Yeah. You snuck so it who, in. Who am I looking at this whole team fight? Lucian. Right. The Lucian the Gragas, and the Gragas, right? Why am I not looking at Kane? Be Kane? Because he does, he's not going to do as much damage to you. He's red Kane. 
Well, if it's Rekin, what do we have to be worried and about? And he's not even on you. Yeah, yeah, I was worried about him until until when. See, I'm like dodging his shit, right? Mm -hmm. what, what am I worried about? Oh, knock up. And then once he has no knock up, who am I looking at? Just someone else. They're back yeah. Else. Yeah, literally anyone else. I'm like, oh, okay. What was that arcane shift, easy. though? That's why. Yeah, the arcane. What was that? Oh, I was trying to dodge his knock up. So okay, you were just. I thought he was aiming at me. dodging. Yeah, 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 I thought he was aiming at. I, I didn't know if you were using that for damage when you thought nah, you were safe. Nah, nah, or... nah, nah, yeah, I'm just trying to dodge his uh, his ability to make sure it's easy class. I right? just recently picked up Ezreal. I mean, so how like E the instant he W'd, so yeah. it'll never hit me no matter what, right? That was that's the predictive idea. So, um, if he's not aiming me, it's not even good. <laughs> so yeah, so you see how like you can kind of use this, you know, attack and defense. You see that? Like, oh, it seems kind of random, but it's not really right. Yeah. Looking at him the whole time. And we look at this one too. Last last example, I guess. Uchen. See where my screen was focused on? On Cassidin. Yeah, but who, who was I Wing? The Sivir. Yeah, so you see how it's like you know, the instant you don't need to think about it anymore, don't think about it. Think about something productive, right? So I'm like, oh, this W guaranteed. Okay, let's, you know, she's dead if I hit this. Let me just focus on the rest of the fight, right? So, you know, I don't even, I'm not even looking at my W, right? I'm just like, how do I help these guys up here, right? So those, yep. are, those are kind of all the examples I have for now. But um, that's like, a, that's definitely a, a team fighting idea you can work on um, that's actually insanely useful, pretty much no matter how long you play this game. Right? A lot of people can't do this. This is just something I came up with, like, when I was trying to uh, get to the higher ranks in Challenger, but um, and I got I, I came up with this because I kept dying to like random TP flanks or some shit. So, I do that. I I thought I do TP flanks and I never see them. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So that's yeah, I why never I get came them up with myself. This idea. It makes me upset. <laughs> I'm just like fuck. Why am I? Why do I keep doing? Why do I keep dying to this shit? It's because uh, they're you're not paying attention to the right things, right? So okay, okay. Let's watch these mechanics. You have flash, so this is easy clap, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Nice condemn. On the Sivir. Oh no, you didn't flash anything. Uh, oh, nice. How tumble. You gotta do it again though. Hey, vein broken. <laughs> Very nice. Well, let me watch this flash. Maybe it's a bamboozle. But I would have thought that you would need it, uh, the, uh, the flash to dodge something for sure. You see that Jarvan try to debate you? He yeah. Popped out. He, he, I, he, he already had the that. E on the ground, didn't he? No, he no. just put it down um, when he saw you, but Og Champ. Well played. Mechanically speaking, I think you don't really have any problems, right? So mid-game stuff, very much a um, good habit would be to work on like every time is every time the wave comes in. Or every time you're walking to a wave, I think is a good one to play. Just it. repeat and think of what I need to do. Yes, and stick to it. Unless something crazy happens for you to First. change that plan, right? Or uh, like the jungler shows up somewhere. Yeah, yeah. I have vision jungler. And then you can change your plan, right? But yep. um, you want to have a firm idea of what you think you're supposed to do. And if it goes wrong, you should re-examine it because that's your that'll help you figure out, you know, come up with better plans in the future, right? So okay. Like the whole we tried to take tower, but it didn't work. Figure out why it didn't work, and now you know next time, oh, it doesn't work, right? You can say maybe you don't have enough HP or or whatever reason you can come up with. But um, if there's anything else to look at, it would just be like. Um, there's a team fighting ability usage with Kaisa. Otherwise, it's, it seems pretty good, right? What okay. Think? Yeah, I think I do think that is my biggest downfall is knowing what to do next and not thinking about what to do next. Right, right. And that'll help and you I'm... like not do that random red stuff, right? Yeah. <laughs> Going for the red buff. I'm like, wait a minute. Uh, hey, in the end, it got me a kill. Hashtag that's true, worth. Huh? Yeah. Hashtag dude. worth. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Look at my vein. Uh, <laughs> Og champ, dude. Og champ. I don't. I should probably. I should probably play her a little bit more. Yeah. Me too, huh? Fun champion. Um. I like the yeah. champion. I just feel like it takes. I just don't like. I don't like vein in solo queue because it takes so long to actually become a thing. Uh, if yeah. you're not getting stupid fed, and I feel like in solo queue you lose within the first 15 minutes if you're gonna lose. Yeah. Agreed. So that's why I kind of quit on the vein and started working on Kaisa, even though Kaisa and then my main Zaya, but I don't play her as much. And I don't know why, on all honesty. But yeah, um, any last questions, I guess? 
No, thank you very much. Alrighty, cool, cool, cool. I will upload this to YouTube so you can go back and rewatch. Otherwise, definitely let me know how these games are going. And uh, yeah, uh, if you want to see like noticeable improvement, watch your mid game decision making. Like go to the replays and say, I was thinking this because this makes sense. Did I do that thing? And if you can match what you think to what you do every time, you know you've done really well at this, right? So I think if you, and then anything else you want to look at, you should also just watch team fights in general. That would be that's that's the fun thing to work on. But oh yeah, um, yeah, definitely uh, you'll know you're improving if you can think of your plan like during game right it's gonna help you a lot so sounds good sounds good Randy, cool good luck in your games then i appreciate it thank you very much no problem no problem uh, I'll continue. you better be at my rank next time so <laughs> i'll be me i'll be meeting you in solo queue and give me two weeks all right sounds good sounds good no mercy <laughs> no mercy no mercy at all man <laughs> all right, have a good one dude you too